Hi everyone, I'm Katie Elizabeth. This is the bookcase. Um, I'm so excited about this. It was a great find. This goes to show that if you're patient with Facebook Marketplace, you'll find what you're looking for. This is a barrister bookcase um, by Globe Wernicke. So what can I tell you about this bookcase? A barrister bookcase or a lawyer's bookcase was originally designed so that the, a lawyer could take their books with them. But each of these sections um, comes apart. Um, the This particular bookcase, it was manufactured by the Globe Wernicke Company. Um, they advertised it as the, was it the expandable? I think the expanding bookcase, bookcase or the elastic, that's it, the elastic bookcase. And the reason for that was you could buy one or two or three sections um, and then go back and buy sections later and make your, your bookcase larger. Um, so a little bit about Globe Wernicke. I think that they ended up in, it says in here, in Cincinnati, Ohio, um, and eventually spread out so that they were manufacturing also, I think, in Canada and in England. Um, they're pretty popular um, from a collector's standpoint. And they're also fairly prevalent. You can find them, um, whether it's you know newer ones, older ones, or a different brand. Barrister bookcases are kind of go in and out of style pretty frequently. Um, so I'm very excited to have a Globe Wernicke. Um, some things that I can tell you about mine: um, uh, being able to date these is is fun. One of the things that you can look for when you're dating a Globe Wernicke bookcase is the labels. Uh, the labels are usually, well they should be, um, placed in the center, back, like bottom um, of each section. And um, there's early labels, the first labels were actually stenciled, um, and then a label was created, and then there's a late label. Um, and then there's specific labels for the, the different countries as well. So that can help you kind of date or place your Globe Wernicke. Another way to date your bookcase is by um, looking at the mechanism that is used to open and shut the doors. There was three different ones that were used. Um, the first one is what my bookcase has. Um, the second one has like a, a slider bar in the back and then the um, final one had slider bars in the front and the back. So um, between the label that's shown on mine and the sliding mechanism, I can date this one to, um, oh, um, between 1899 and 1920. And the reason why I know that it was no earlier than 1899 is because the particular finish that this bookcase is was not available until then. Um, so the way that you can tell what finish your bookcase is, is, is on the label. So there's two different um, numbers or letters, two different sections on the labels. Um, on the later, earlier labels, it's, it's called the size, and later ones they call it the pattern, and then the grade is the finish or the wood that it's made out of. So these are C11, 198s, the grade is 198. Um, by that, I know that this is straight sawn oak with an antique finish, and that wasn't available in 18, until 1899. Um, the C11 is just the size. I think 11, if I measured it, is the height of them. Um, C is actually one of the smaller ones. One of the things that I like in specific about my expandable elastic bookcase um, is that the top that there's a top portion and a bottom portion to finish finish it off. And it looks really nice that way. Some things I don't like about mine, there's glass missing in one of them. It's kind of a bummer, but not impossible to replace. Um, and the sliding mechanism is missing from a couple of them as well. And I've heard that those are replaceable, that you can get those. I don't know that I'll worry about it too much. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the, this the 1899 to 1920 style has very rounded edges. Um, what else can I tell you about that? Um, the metal on the ends is, oh, what is it? It's some sort of oxidized metal. 
and that's very specific to this time period as well. Yeah, so it's a sectional bookcase. So like I said, each section can come apart. The original purpose was so that they could take their books with them. Um, another way to date a, a Globe Wernicke bookcase is by how those sections attach to each other. So that's how I know that it's not any later than 1920. On the older style Globe Wernicke's, um, there is a slat that is on the top of each of the sections and it fits very nicely into the section above it. And later Globe Wernicke's actually have small like metal nubs that fit into the section above it. So that's um, how I can safely put this one between 1899 and 1920. How much is it worth? You know, that's a really hard question to answer. I think it's worth whatever you're willing to pay for it, right? Um, so if you're interested in these, I would just start searching on Facebook Marketplace or um, I suppose maybe eBay or other, you can check um, antique stores or, you know, um, thrift sales and see if you come across any. But then you can just get kind of an idea of what's out there. Later models have leaded glass and different styles. Um, those uh, different sizes and different styles obviously have different values. So it's really, um, you know, what you want and what you're willing to pay. So I will tell you what I paid for mine. I paid $800 for this bookcase. What do you guys think? Did I pay too much? Why don't you comment below and let me know? But really, what good is an empty bookcase? So why don't we get it filled?